Pooler may soon get an electrical vehicle charging station and hydrogen fueling site. The first of its kind in the area. The station would be used for hydrogen trucks going to and from Hyundai Meta plant. WSCV Sarah Smith uh, taking a closer look now at safety. Groundbreaking technology right here in Pooler. This could be the future site of a fueling center for Hyundai Meta plant vehicles. But instead of gas, they would be using electricity and hydrogen. And it's that hydrogen that has some people worried, but we're getting answers. Hydrogen is, despite the fact that it's a new technology, it can be as safe or safer as many of the other fuels that we currently use today. That was John Northup representing Capital Development Partners. He addressed safety concerns in front of Pooler City Council in early January. An EV and hydrogen fueling station could be built at this location on 500 Seabrook Parkway, servicing environmentally friendly trucks like this one. And there are 20 others just like it, according to Hyundai, which partnered with Globus America. The hydrogen would be made on site, according to Northup. An estimated 20 to 30 trucks would be fueled per day, most of them heading to or from the Hyundai Meta plant. While hydrogen is highly flammable, Northup says there are benefits. It's zero emission, so you can not only make the hydrogen from water, but the only uh, emission from an, a, an engine that burns hydrogen is water vapor. Uh, which is obviously a lot better than burning fossil fuels. And like all things, there are safety regulations. According to Northup, the trucks can detect hydrogen leaks. Pooler Fire Chief Wade Simmons says if handled correctly, fire concerns can be minimized. A similar fueling station is in Camden County. Council members visited that site. So far, there have been no problems at that station. The project is the first of its kind in this area, offering both hydrogen fuel and EV charging all in one facility, looking to accelerate the development to support the fast-growing Hyundai plant. Northrop says another plus to hydrogen is it's easy to make, further bringing economic growth and some energy independence. You've got improved air quality, you've got energy efficiency, you've got uh, lower noise pollution because these things are a lot quieter than your standard trucks. There has been discussion of holding a town hall meeting where the public could give feedback and ask questions, but the date and time haven't been released yet. We did reach out to Mayor Karen Williams for comment, but she says she wants to wait until that public feedback is given. Reporting in Pooler, Sarah Smith, WSAV News 3, on your side.